I'm Dave Patino, I'm a photographer and artist, and this is The Bedroom Project. Bedroom is considered to be one of the most private, intimate places in most people's houses, and yet for me it's 
the one room I'm quite disconnected from. So, um, so this is my social experiment slash therapeutic project. Um, I'm looking for friends and families, lovers, husbands, wives, parents, grandparents, and everything in between. Uh, I don't think that photographing all these people will make this a more intimate place for me. Um, but I do think that there'll be a collaboration between all of us in creating this massive work of art. I'm pretty sure that my heart and my soul will be bared just as much as anyone who steps in front of the camera for this. And, and now it's at the point where I've shot, like, you know, I've shot people and then they send their friends and then they send their friends. Mm -hmm. So now I'm like three or four tiers down, you know, shooting people I have never met before in my life, but they're emailing me nonstop saying, I saw this, I want to be a part of this. Once people see it, they usually go, oh, okay, now I get it. Like, you know, but their first reaction is definitely, I'm sorry, you want me to what? <laughs> And it also helps that there are people hanging out here. You know, it's it's it makes people a little more comfortable. Mm -hmm. What was your impression of this whole thing when he said, "Hey, I want to take you a picture of you on my bed"? <laughs> I mean, I'm not super artistic, so I was like, I don't know. I guess we'll see what it's all about. But yeah. then, like after the first couple of shoots, I had a blast. <laughs> I thought it was awesome. Like the pictures came out great. Mm -hmm. And after that, I, I just kind of started <laughs> hanging out here all of the time, <laughs> so you can't really get rid of me. How does that make you feel, being, you know, of an artistic nature? You're, you're kind of creating this yeah. by having your project, you know, and that's what is bringing everybody here. How do you feel about being kind of the impresario of that? Out. <laughs> uh, I, and so I didn't expect that many people to be like, wow, this is cool. Mm -hmm. You know, like, this is interesting. I want to be a part of this. I want to watch this. I want to... I didn't expect it to be a spectator thing. Mm -hmm. Uh, I think in the first day I got like 50 emails wow. in the first four hours. It was kind of, I had, like I was at work and I'd left and I came back a bunch of hours later and I was like, holy shit, my inbox is like screaming at me, um, which was great. And I was like, I had to remind myself, this is a good thing. <laughs> this is what you want. This is going to help out. This is, I'm trying to really focus on this and maintain a sense of sanity while doing it because it has a tendency to get out of control really quick. I get really excited when I'm shooting. and. I try to keep it going as much as possible, mm -hmm. so I feel I feel pretty damn blessed mm -hmm. that, you know, I have A, the ability to do it, <clears throat> B, the support of friends, you know. It feels good mm -hmm. to, to do this project. I feel good at the end of the day mm -hmm. when I'm done shooting and live. Like, I'm so much in love with this project and what it's doing, mm -hmm. and I pretty much want you all to be a part of it. End scene. Cut. <laughs>